Okay, so I'm trying to do this again. Seems like I didn't have things set up correctly. Uh, I was trying to speed things up, and in the process of doing that, I messed things up because I was using a newer version of work. What well, doesn't matter. Okay, so what we're doing here is we are setting up my init.el, uh, but we're going to build it from org mode file. From these are things that I've seen that other guys have done, like Zemansky, Uncle Dave, etc. Let's make this thing. Here's the whole screen. Um, we've already moved my old init.el out of the way. And we're going to start by making a new org mode file. So hopefully you know what org mode is. If not, org mode is uh, a way of making outlines. So this is level one. one and you can make right like this things like this and you can type some some stuff right and you can collapse them okay and one of the other things that's just nice that you can do is that you can add you can add some code here and you can run it and I can do um, so let's try echo Echo, echo is not here, so you can do um, message. Yeah, so we can now we can run this with Control C C, and right now it's asking me, it's being a pain. Yeah, and we see that we have the results down here. So a couple things about this that I don't like. Oh, what do you say? No, oh, why did I go to search? Um, something that I don't like here is I what we're going to be doing is having that it's going to automatically make this into a into an elist file so let's see how you can do that there's something that you can call it's called tangle oh. which you can do here we can do tangle tangle yes and then I can do tangle buffer so erg Babel Tangle Tangle and it's gonna make this file and it made us a file here with init.el with the code that we had in there. So we can put in a bunch of other code blocks like that. And it's going to make our init.el file for us when we run that. Uh, what I've seen other people do is that on load time they build this file. I don't want to do that. I want to keep my load time down. So let's kill this buffer. And let's make get rid of this because there's some things that are first thing we need I want to set some properties up here that um just one second. Where did I put it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And poo -poo -poo. and let's go back to our org mode buffer here. Okay. Um what I wanna do is I want it to why am I not typing? Hello? Okay. I want to always tangle. Anytime that I have any block here. I don't wanna have to type this tangle yes every time. So I put that on the top. And I also am adding this thing, this is comments yes, which is going to give us comments pointing back to the org mode file. So let's save this and let's tangle our buffer again. I think I had to run that. Okay. I had to refresh the local setup with control CC. This, we can probably see what that's down to, but you can do that on your own time. Let's try that again. And that will tank. Okay, now we can go back and look at our uh, init.il init.el and you can see that it gave us some uh, uh, link that goes back to our org mode file which is going to be helpful for the debugging if so who writes code with bugs okay so now that we've got that started up let's clean some of this stuff up we don't need any of this 
what else did I want here is I wanted to have in here um, that the results whenever I run those core code blocks because in the I want the results to be silent so let's try another code block and let's try this And let's try, uh, let's do some addition, one plus one. Yeah, so, and when I evaluated this block before, you saw that it gave me a results block here, but I don't want to do that because I'm going to be running these blocks. Forgot to refresh. You see that I put the, the results down here. I don't want the results there. I want them to be in the, you see down in the uh, mini buffer. With the results. So here, this is going to keep my init.org uh, clean from all of these type of things. Okay, so that's been going on. How we want oh, here? It's six minutes. Let's see if there's something else that we can put in here for now. Um, let's get some stuff in here so we can do. Mm, Let's see what else we can get here. So if we can go to, let's add some titles and things like that. Uh, I'll do that on, you can see how to do that later. Oh, that's one. Okay. Uh, you see, I don't spend as much time in, in org mode as I should. Let's see. Let's see if I can get in. If there's something that I can get out of the right of the way from my init file that we can put in here, and we can see that this is working actually. Uh, let's see. Now we have the menu bar. Let's get rid of that menu bar. Yeah. So. Let's get rid of that menu bar. So we will do this and we will do a menu bar mode. And let's set that to negative one. And now if I run it now, CC, it's gonna ask me every time. Oh, no more menu bar. Okay, now let's add, let's add this here. We'll call this UI tweaks. And let's save this file and we'll tangle it. And there we got one tangled to init.org. And let's quit out of the Emacs and we'll see that we should not have a um, that we should not have our Uh, now we have no menu bar. See, it gives me the thing to activate menu bar here. And let's go and we see if our init.il init.il That's interesting. Okay, I didn't add that, but it's interesting that it adds it. So that I'm going to end up in adding myself anyway, but it's nice that interesting that it adds it. Okay, so let's get back and let's. Now we don't have Magit installed yet. That's probably going to be one of the first things that I install here. Um, I'm going to get shell mode I have. Oh. Oh, let's just, just let's get out of Emacs. We will do uh, get status, get add, oh, all this other stuff I don't need. I will have to make a get ignore in here. Let's get add. Um, Uh, 
här är mitt dag. Räkningen heter vi och betalmålet. And let's get push this up. Okay, you can see here there's the uh, GitLab, the URL for GitLab. You can go and check it out, see what we're doing there, and see if you have anything. Let me know in the comments if anybody's actually watching this. Um, so I am going to start moving over slowly my um, my old my old config and try and get it nice and organized into org mode into that org mode file and once I get it to a way that I like in the terminal then we will move over to using it in the GUI okay so bye for now <laughs>